back with another video how to build a sandcastle hopefully this one will be a little more fun than other videos I've done just a little disclaimer here this by no means is a professional how-to video on how to build a sandcastle but hopefully after watching it you'll be able to impress your kids or if you're a kid watching this uh, impress your parents now before you head out to the beach you need to get yourself some sandcastle making tools so you need a few things. You need a, a good shovel. Uh, the one shown here is plastic, but actually I like to get uh, a small shovel from Home Depot. Um, they sell them at any hardware store. Uh, it seems to be a little more sturdy and you can move sand a little quicker with it. You also need a set of molds. Um, you can pick these up at any beach shop around um, the beach, or you can pick them up before you leave home uh, online. Once you get out to the beach, you want to scope out a location for your sandcastle. Um, you don't want the a location where the surf is going to be coming up and messing with your sandcastle, uh, but you don't want it too high where the sand is dry. Next, you want to get a rough idea in your mind of what you want to build um, when you're on the beach. You want to make sure you have enough space um, for whatever's in your head. Uh, this is an example of what uh, I'm going to build in this video, uh, but it doesn't have to be like this. It can be uh, anything you can dream up. Uh, just make sure you're not too rigid about it. The fun of part of the fun of castle making is that uh, you kind of make it up as you go. Uh, so just have a rough idea, but don't be too rigid. I like to uh, dig out a frame around uh, my building area. This serves a couple of purposes. It serves as a border. Uh, for my building area and it also serves as a moat uh, for my castle to keep out the bad guys. Also by digging out this moat um, the sand you dig out you throw into the middle of your frame and that serves as your castle sand. So um, dig down as deep as you need to to get enough sand uh, to build up your castle. With your moat complete it's time to start building your castle. Uh, so with the sand you threw in the middle, you can uh, start building and always build your castle from the top down so that you're not disturbing anything that you've built below. What I've done here is just flattened out the uh, very top of my mound of sand to prepare for my castle. So it's time to start building some castle. So grab the mold you've chosen and put some sand in it. The important thing here to do is to push down with your fingers as you see me doing there into those corners of your castle so that uh, it will form nice clean lines uh, when you pull the mold off. And just pack the sand in uh, nice and tight, uh, smooth it off, and you feel like uh, it feels pretty good. Just turn it over and place it uh, in the location that you want it. And just squeeze the sides. This this is the tough part. So squeeze the sides. I'm trying to get the mold loose from the sand. Another tip here when you're trying to get the mold loose from the sand is uh, again to create those nice clean edges and to get that sand out that you packed down in those corners. Tap the edges of your mold with an, another mold or shovel or anything will do really. Um, this uh, gets that sand out of those corners. You can feel when the sand separates from the mold because uh, the mold all of a sudden becomes light. It doesn't have the sand in it anymore. So just pull it off and hopefully your corners are clean. Uh, as you can see, I have a little crack there, but we'll just call that a, a battle scar. So now just repeat the process, um, adding castle uh, as you see fit. Be careful, working on the uh, beach can have its hazards. As you can see, uh, a seagull pooped on me as I was filming this video. Be careful when working around the molds that are already there because your hands can accidentally hit the other molds and disturb them. Now 
Moving down to a lower level, the next thing I did was using a small shovel, I created a couple of shelves using a downward stroke with the shovel, as you can see here. The next thing I did was add a row of castle wall on the second level down using the same technique I used for the other molds. I encourage you to get other people involved here. I've recruited my kids to decorate the castle with seashells. Just adds a nice touch and uh, gets the whole family involved. Here I had a castle wall that ran too long, so I wanted to show you you can just uh, use the mold to take away part of the uh, sand castle that was there. So just use it to smooth out the edge and uh, take away the sand so that you can redo it and then just repair what damage you've done. Here if you want to make a set of stairs going over your moat, uh, first you need to just pack in some sand over the moat you dug out earlier. I don't have good video of it, but uh, the next thing I did was carve out the sides of the bridge, uh, similar to the way I dug the walls on the castle itself, and then just build some steps um, using the shovel you just uh, use the downward stroke, just go a little bit, and then brush the sand away. And then, as I'm doing here, you dig uh, underneath your stairs so that your moat can flow under your bridge. It's also fun to have your kids pour water in the moat. Depending on the type of sand, it's probably not going to hold the water. But it's uh, fun and it smooths out the bottom of the moat. Now with a little luck and patience, Hopefully you have a completed sandcastle. Now for the best part of all, according to some members of the family. That's it for this video. I hope you have fun building your sandcastle. If you would like to see other videos like this, visit my website.